Hey guys, I say hello from the sunny and beautiful city of Amsterdam, where the Connected Insurance Europe takes place this year. And before I share the five things I learned at this event, let me share with you, it's not the biggest events around, but it's really worth going because every single business card, every single meeting I had was very promising, very exciting. I learned a lot, or maybe even there will be some corporations with literature scouting there afterwards. So you had a great bunch of innovators of the insurance industry from Central and even Eastern Europe around here. I talked about how to connect to the heart of the insurance customer and shared five strategies we discovered at Digital Scouting, how to build great digital products and services and how to hack the attention of the end customer. And um, well, the audience laughed several times and I think that's an achievement. Number one, it's a well-made conference very well organized, so congratulations to Graham and the team. We saw a lot of interesting keynotes, panels, use cases that were focusing on the connected aspects of the insurance industry, about first IoT use cases and especially the journeys insurer and service providers and startups actually are facing in this field. Number two. I strongly believe what we see right now is um, a lot of insurers are doing trials with IoT, big data and certain devices, principles, digital products and services. I have the impression that we have not seen the big, big breakthrough yet, but I'm really excited to see this later down the road. And I have the impression that a lot of carriers, but also reinsurers are preparing for a breakthrough to come because nobody in the rooms, nobody from the people we talk to actually is not betting on that trend. Number three. The third point I see as actually big hurdle. So we have a lot of data that streams out of sensors and IoT devices and, and that needs to be combined with data from other sources and um, especially concerning the low price and the low price per sensor and CPI, CPU unit, what we um, will face as a challenge is actually data cleaning, data structuring um, and um, especially also data enrichment. So on the one hand, we have the vision of the beautiful things that happen in the future. On the other hand, we really need to be careful and um, what we actually can do with the data and how to care and how to handle the data before we can do all the magical things. Number four. What I hear more and more is actually the talking about branding and, and you might be confused why do we talk about branding at a connected insurance event but I think it's especially important to talk about that because brands in my personal opinion brands will be decisive in the buying decision of the customer especially when we um, are talking about devices that we install in the rooms of our children or in our offices where we can check and where they're very sensitive data. One lady showed me with a camera the, the room of her children and she said well I'm only doing it because it's actually my company um, that provides this service. So trust and branding will be super successful and we should not do less of it, we should do more of it. And that's the specialty of digital scouting by the way. And number five. So a fifth thing we talked about at the Connected Insurance Europe is the role of millennials and a certain customer behavior. There were vivid discussions on stage and on the panels. Should we actually consider this as a different buying behavior and user behavior? And one idea I thought was really smart that said it actually does not matter. It was the only thing that matters is not a certain demographic group. What matters is are there new business models out there? And new business models mean new risk which for most of society is actually not a good news, but for the insurance industry that's covering this risk, it's a good news. And I think the insurance business of Uber and Lyft should be a warning example because they do it themselves. Most of the business um, went actually not into the pocket of the insurance industry and we should really, really focus on new business models and how to provide coverage also for them. So guys, those were my five learnings. I will now head off and enjoy the beautiful city of Amsterdam and drink a lekker pilsje. So, if you made it to here, it means you really like the video. 
it would mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button down here or sign up for a newsletter so we can give you all the hottest newest trends we scout around the world for free even sooner.